it is another beautiful day here in Tenneke Inlet. Just another beautiful, flat, calm, sunny day. Uh, we're getting in the boat. It's me and Maggie today. And we're heading over to Corner Bay to continue our sawmilling work. I'm getting close. Um, I'm either going to finish or I'm going to run out of logs shortly. So <laughs> stay tuned. It is a beautiful day over here today. So just a couple more weeks really. This uh, flat area over here, that's the head of Corner Bay, is just gonna start booming with life. Um, it's got a big river, Corner Creek, that comes down right out of the middle of that bay. And that area is just so full of bear and deer and uh, fish, salmon, and all the birds and other animals that come with that. Just really a really an amazing, uh, bountiful place. And I'll go over there with my big camera, and we'll film uh, wildlife and uh, do a lot of bear, film some bear stuff. Um, in the summer months, we'll see like five, six, seven bears a day. It's amazing. So, sorry if my voice sounds a little funny today. I'm getting over, over cold. That sure feels good to be outside. I thought I saw a bear over there already, but I don't know. You might see one today. I mean, they're definitely up and moving around. That's for sure. So yeah, this every uh, season's a little different for me this year. I'm starting my season by using the Jenny every day and commuting, but later in the year, like once we really get into summer, we'll be mainly here with our sailboat on living right here, anchored up or at the dock. And then every day it's really nice to just wake up and uh, right here. <laughs> wake up right there and a lot of times we'll tie to the dock and then uh, wake up look out over the flat see all the animals and just walk up the dock go to work I actually like the commuting but uh, you know you burn a lot of gas and time and then oh adds up it's a lot easier to just hammer your workout and just stay over here so Whew. We're gonna go ahead, uh, head up and uh, start the truck, start the mill, start the forklift, and start cranking out some 2x4s. I'm really hoping to be done with 2x4s today. Um, this was a great order. It'll be nice to have that bulk part of it, the 2x4s, done, and I'll get them all stacked up and show you guys what it looks like. It's gonna be a really nice pile of wood when it's uh, all stacked and stickered. Yeah, that Jenny is a cool boat. Here's the walk up the dock every day. Some days, like on a Friday, we will get over here to Corner Bay and we'll have fuel jugs to carry, saws to carry, all this stuff. And it'll be like negative four tide, so super low tide. The ramp will be like straight up and down. And what'll happen is, like by the time I get to the top of the dock, carry my stuff down the ramp onto the other boat, over here up this ramp i'll be like jesus christ i'm already whipped I haven't even got started working yet <laughs> that's amazing but this week's been really nice i've only had to bring a couple things over so oh man what a day please please there's the bear gun 450 marlin oh. Wow. So these are just people's trucks that uh, they use for recreation and hunting. Some people deer hunt over here and stuff like that. There's one of my skiffs right there. My dad's skiff over there. 
That is the Forest Service truck, government truck right there. Oh, I just wanted to walk over here and look at the bars. I haven't looked at it in a couple days. So as soon as I finish milling the shed kits, I've got two or three just giant beautiful spruce logs, uh, one specifically big old growth logs. And I'm gonna mill them up with Elizabeth. And uh, then my dad and I, and hopefully one other guy are gonna put the deck on this uh, new barge. My dad just got it bolted together and he just milled these yellow cedar covering boards. And then we're gonna do Sitka spruce decking. I'm uh, so excited about this. I have to go deliver a load of wood at the end of this week. And uh, man, I wish, I really, really, really wish this is what we were using. It's almost done. So if you'd like to see us uh, milling the wood and then finish building this barge and then launching it, that's going to be a fun day. And then you, probably right after we launch it, we'll have something to do with it. So we'll launch it and we'll load it up with lumber and uh, topsoil. My dad's selling topsoil. And then, hey, good girl, Maggie. And then we'll tow it to uh, Juno or Sitka or wherever we're going. But man, this thing is gorgeous. Woo. All right. Well, I got to get this shed kit, five shed kits done. And then switch over to milling the old growth. Get that happening. Yeah, so right now, this is just, you know, as good as it gets. It's sunny, it's warm, it's quiet. There is no one over here or anywhere near me right now. It's really cool. And yeah, this is basically my home. I've lived here, you know, half my adult life right here at Quarter Bay. So we'll be moved back over here shortly. <laughs> Yeah, there's my skiff. I'm gonna actually take the motor off that skiff and put it onto a new wooden boat that I'm building up here. I'm building myself a new wooden skiff. <laughs> so I was thinking about it on the way over today. I was like, man, that'll be a fun video. We've already named the boat the good sign. So the day we launch the good sign, it's gonna be a good day here on this YouTube channel. And uh, if you'd like to be here for this summer of boating and logging, we're going in the woods soon. Please remember to click on. <coughs> excuse me. Please remember to click on the like and subscribe buttons below this video so that when we get out there. A little slow. When we get out there in the sea, you can come with us. Beautiful. Maggie, come. Driving up to the mills now. Yeah, Maggie's doing really well. So grateful to have a good dog out here with me. I've always had a dog, so a couple of times where I've tried to work out here alone without my dog, it's like, I didn't really enjoy it. I've just always got the hair on the back of my neck out because there's bears everywhere over here. I mean, we will see like, like I said earlier in this video, seven or eight bears a day, 10 bears. You know, sometimes we'll see two or four, sometimes we'll see none, but a lot of days we'll see like eight. And they're everywhere. And right now it's like, they're just waking up. So they're kind of crazy. They wake up kind of crazy and they're hungry and they're like trying to get their bodies restarting. You know, sometimes they're like not even totally awake yet. And it's one of the times of the year you don't want to run into a bear in a weird situation because they are like, you know, they're hungry and they're weird. But having the dog running around just makes me feel a lot better about everything because, I mean, she's going to bark at that bear if it gets anywhere near the yard. We'll see how she does. I don't know if she's ever seen a bear. It's probably going to be her first year with them and they're kind of in the thick of it out here, so... Just gonna do my very best to keep her safe and when she can learn how to stay back from them and not lead them to me. Wow. I better show you here. This is just so beautiful out here today. Gosh. 
into that road. Oh, my goodness, we'll go right by there. I would so love to go out there right now. And uh, we could, but I gotta get to work. And save it for a day when the family's over here with me. Oh, God, it's beautiful. Woo. Oh. Yeah, the snow just melted. I gotta get my dad to do some work to our road over here. All right, well, we're coming up to the mills, looking at the log pile. Yeah, I got a little ways to go. There's one big full one in there, but I'm getting down there. I'm really working through it, so. I'm gonna have to get into more of a small log processing mode where I buck up a bunch of logs and get them all set up on the forks and roll them on there. These logs have been big enough that I haven't really had to do small log processing. It's just kind of bringing them one at a time and it's fine. Um, you'll see me as the summer goes on. This is just where I had the logs. So I'm just kind of, it takes me like five or six minutes to go over there and get one so it's not the end of the world. But later in the year, you'll see us, we'll get the logs right here at the second growth. They'll be right behind the forklift right there. And then we'll start every day with my dad by bucking up like a bunch you know maybe 25 logs and then we'll get the logs all set up like ready to roll onto the mill and uh, you'll see us like do a little bit more production style milling but this week I'm just doing great the quality of timber is so good and the logs are such a nice size that you know it's just I'm not really having any problems it's like as long as the old sawmill keeps rolling down the track we're gonna be doing pretty well so here we are Old Dimension Mill. Oh my god. It's so beautiful and quiet and calm. I hate to even start anything up today. We have to. So that's my wall tent right there. We just put that up uh, so the kids have somewhere to hang out when they're over here. We lived in that wall tent for 45 days on a small remote island here in Tenneke Inlet, um, close to Corner Bay. And we were working in town and working over here, so that's where I started YouTube, so if you'd like to see any of those videos, I'll put a link below. You know, those are just starting out videos. But. So, let's go ahead, gas up, start up, see how we're doing. Sheesh, well, first act of the day, I hooked a battery cable up backwards and melted a wire on the mill. <laughs> I can't believe it, but it's okay. I just picked it up, it's had a little bit of a spark, which I thought to myself, I was like, gosh, that seems a little funny. And then looked over and I saw this wire burning up. So. It's okay. I don't think we heard anything too bad, just this is one wire. I don't know, go ahead and get it disconnected here. I already got the other end of it off. really don't you know fire and sawmills is like the worst thing so can't believe I did that luckily everything was fine shut it off Let me get this wire out see it started up. Somehow I've managed to miss both of my actual accidents with the camera. Which is surprising because I'm doing a you know, I don't know, I probably film about, I, only, I guess I only film like 10% of what's going on, but I try to film a lot of it. It's 
funny that I missed both accidents. <laughs> One of these days you'll get to see me do something really dumb. <laughs> All right. So, we'll see if this alternator is charging. I don't think it was work. I think this alternator, you know, it's worked for a really, really long time. I think it was not charging before this happened. And well, after that happened, I think I think that's you know one of the main ways you'll burn up an alternator right there. So it's not gonna affect us today, but I'll take this thing off and get it check it out or get a new one. Sometime next week, so okay. Let's go ahead and connect everything. Start the mill and just really cross our fingers that everything's good. All right, we replaced a couple wires. I think we're ready to start up now. Cutting up all the big ones first, like I always do. Gotta, gotta cut some small ones too, or else you'll just spend your last days cutting little logs, which is just not quite as much fun. Another 16 footer here.
Well, I cannot wait to go out logging in the forest. It's coming soon. We still got a little bit to go here. There's more logs than I thought, which is a good thing. So let's get up there. It's time to shovel the sawdust. take it away like every three or four logs instead of every single time. It's nice to just do those bigger logs and just do it all at once, but smaller stuff, it's like you gotta start getting more, getting more logs flowing onto the mill.
getting over this cold, this sick bug, and I gotta be careful today. I'm just not quite top of my game, I guess. We can still make some 2 by 4s
far in the world.
Everything looks good. It's a little dirty in the distributor cap, so I'm going to clean that a little bit. Let's see if I get it running. Oh, it's funny. It's sounding great, and then all of a sudden it sounds like they're starving for gas. So we'll just work on it for a minute and see what happens. So usually when this mill breaks down, it's a fuel issue, and there's this little sponge filter in the tank. So I took that out and cleaned it, but it didn't look that bad. So I'm kind of surprised. So let's go ahead and clean off the air filter here. distributor cap. I think I should get a new cap. It's looking a little worn. Hope the old girl's okay. It's been running just a little bit odd this year. So hopefully I thought it just had a little bit of you know, just normal stuff like the gas just needed to run a little bit but we'll see. Okay. Now if we fix that yet, let will check the oil again. Yeah. Oil is sure good, it's perfectly clean.
idling perfect. Normally that milk is idle smooth, so. Maybe I'll get a little cap. Clean out the carburetor. That's probably what I need to do, clean the carb. Well, the milk seems to be running good again. Still got a little bit of a rough idle, so I think next week I'll take the carburetor off and clean it all out. And uh, hopefully that'll clean it up. Maggie's trying to like super chill today. The sun's making her all sleepy. Wow, we're making progress. Look at all that dust piling up. Nice. Yeah, we're getting there today. Looking forward to getting through these two by fours and on to the next thing, but honestly, it's really good work. Happy to be doing it. So, our slash pile is starting to grow too, which is great news. This wood will all dry out and then we'll burn it in the log boiler, which is a big outdoor wood furnace right there. And then next to it, we're building a new warehouse. So, if you'd like to see us building this new uh, wood drying facility and processing facility and then heating it with this. Uh, biomass that I'm stacking up here. Please remember to like and subscribe by clicking on the like and subscribe buttons below. And then you'll be able to go through the whole process of our business, watching our business grow and our new warehouse going up. And you know, and it'll be cool because most of the warehouse is going to all be built with material off the Mobile Dimension Mill. So, you know, if you've got one of these mills and you're like getting in the lumber business, um, you can take a look at how I build my warehouse, it's pretty cool. And you can do it yourself. Let's go get another log. Okay, we're going for a pretty nice size log here. So the last one was on the smaller side, but still yielded. We got seven two by fours out of it. This one will probably get more like 10. So we're on to the second locks now, so I've already cut 16s off most of the butts. I got one more big one in there. Now we're cutting up the second 16-footers. It's amazing how long the trees are without that much taper. Sorry if I seem like I'm operating slow. I do this one-handed when I'm filming. I haven't quite figured that out yet. <laughs> we're gonna keep improving our videos, um, you know, getting just better and better and better and better. I try every single one to get a little better and eventually we'll hire a like a cameraman and an editor and we'll make it into like a really 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 good show. So thanks for coming along with me. Let's go ahead and buck this baby off 16 feet. That usually takes you about five days to mill a whole truckload. Where I'm at this time, I've been working short days, doing a couple other things to start the season. But uh, basically, it takes me about five days. And when I'm done with this, since I'm going to cut the whole truckload up in one go, we'll be able to count up our board footage, and we can see how many board feet I'm getting for the truckload. And we can also see how much money we're making per truckload.
my guy Nick's on the, my side. Cut fine last guy. That one was totally dull. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, we'll take this chain off and put it on the chain grinder. Nice log up. Dandy.
Well, that was a pretty darn good run of the mill there today. Had a couple issues. Pretty sure they were both caused by human error, but we're ending the day with the mill running a lot better than when we started, which is really important. Take a look at our pile of lumber here. It's looking pretty good. Well, right now we've got 100 2 by 4 by 16 exactly. Our order is for 120. So I've just got 20 more to go, um, which is really, really exciting for me. The end is in sight on this one. So everything went really well today. Everything's gone really well, honestly. It's been my first week back at the mill. You're bound to have some stuff to work on after it's been sitting all winter. And uh, so far, everything's gone really well. So we're going to crank out the last of these 20 foot 2 by 4s. Elizabeth's going to come over and we're going to get them all stacked and stickered and get all this wood moved out of the shed into the drying shed. Then we're going to take a look at the order and see what's next. Um, I'm excited to see it. This will look like a really big pile of wood when we get those 1 inch stickers in between every layer. It's going to be about 2 full units. So with these 2 by 6 that'll be 3 units. So we're, we're making money and we're moving right along and we're moving right through my log pile at about the rate I predicted so we're going to be getting to go out in the woods and go logging again soon. It's a beautiful pile of lumber. Uh, it'll be fun to see it all stacked with the stickers. Oh man, it's a lot of work. Every year starting back to it, it's always surprising. It's just, you know, everything is so wet when it comes off the log, the slash and the bark and even the boards, they're pretty heavy. So my three by sixes over there are going to be ran through this planer in the next couple days. So you'll get to uh, see the planer going and you get to see what this lumber looks like. Smooth finished. It's really beautiful. They're going to dry like they're going to be halfway seasoned by the end of this week. I'm um, just this one week, seven days of hot, sunny weather with the air blowing through. They're going to be halfway there and they'll be dry enough for us to plane. And then they'll keep drying out on their way to the cabin. And they will do their final seasoning in frame inside the cabin. So um, I'm really excited to get the planer going. I got our generator going yesterday. So if you'd like to come along with me where we're going to plane this lumber, these three by sixes, we're going to load them onto a barge. We're going to tow it 75 miles by sea through Southeast Alaska waters, Juneau, unload it onto a remote beach and build an A-frame cabin complete. That's the next thing I'm doing, like next week. So if you'd like to come along with that, it's going to be by far the best string of videos that we've put out. Um, by far, this A Cabin is going to be great. The A Cabin Build Series. And if you'd like to come with me, please remember to click on the like and subscribe buttons that are below this video. And you can always come back to YouTube, search Second Growth Homes, click on my face, so you can come see what we've been up to. Um, over the last couple weeks so I can't wait to get underway I'm like I'm so happy to be here and I'd be milling but I'm one of those people that's always you know going for that next thing so right now I'm like all right I'm ready take a break from the mill take a break from the dust and get out on the ocean and tow and then do a little bit of building and by the time that's done I'm going to be dying to get back here and get out in the forest and go logging so it's going to be a great year really appreciate you coming along with me uh I know the 2x4s might not be the most exciting thing in the world for some people, but it is a huge part of what makes the world go around and what makes this business happen over here at Second Growth Home. So it's, uh, it's very rewarding work. Thanks for watching.